And I'm going to say it because, you know, Instagram, Facebook, twerk videos. Come on, I know it. And don't, I'm just being honest. That stuff is so degrading to you guys. Show me a studying video or something. Do something. Smack your lips, whatever. I'm just saying. You guys need to really step it up. Like she said, I've come in here and brought Justin. It's like, am I at the club? And I don't even go to the club. There's nothing wrong with the club at an age-appropriate time. However, like she said, I'm in the office and I hear, what, girl? Ah, what is all that? <laughs> You're in school. Then I thought I was on a runway. You got six-inch heels. I can't even walk in those. Nothing wrong with six-inch six heels. There's a time and a place for everything. That's all I'm saying. Be, how old are you? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18? Be that age. I'm telling you, bills and stuff come when you get this age, and I'm trying to see how I can go back to your age. And it's not, I haven't been successful yet, so I'm just stuck at 35. You have a question? about acting our age and everything. I understand where you're coming from because I w as I was growing up in elementary school, I wasn't allowed to do certain things that I'm allowed to do now, like getting my nails done and eyebrows did and hair done. I wasn't allowed to do those things because my mom said, it's a certain age you're allowed to do things because when you get older, what is that that you're going to have to look forward to if you're doing it right now? So I was like, like I never understood that until now because um, now I can look forward to getting my nails done, my hair done, and all this stuff because I'm old enough to do it, and I, <laughs> I can appreciate what she said because I don't have to worry about people asking me, oh, why do you do this, or why do you do that, and you're only this age. I'm like, because I was never allowed, and it, I, it, I have interest in it now than before. When I was so interested when I was younger, I'm more interested now, so... I understand what you're saying. That, that's, that's great. Yes, ma'am. Mike, how she said she wasn't really interested um, with nail stuff. I wasn't really like that either. Like having a boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. I haven't have a boyfriend to now. I wasn't really worried about boys. Basically, when I was little, I grew up with a bunch of brothers, so I basically wasn't really feeling boys. I thought all boys were basically. Have one, no <laughs> I was weird because I was basically a tomboy when I was in eighth, um, sixth, and seventh because I grew up around boys. I only have one sister, and she's in college now. Right. So basically, I have three brothers now that I have to live with, and I'm basically around them all day. Right. So growing up with them, that's all I have. So basically, I was a tomboy, and all I did was play basketball, play football, wrestle with them. Right now, I'm a karate coach. I'm a black belt, and all I do is fight boys. So they, they don't want me to fight the girls because I'm too big. I'm too tall. So everyone thinks I'm crazy, but I'm not. I'm just I grew up around a lot of boys. I grew a lot of I grew around a lot of boys. That's well, all I got. Take you off black belt, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't fight you. No, but I don't. I don't fight. I don't do none of that because I'm not a mean person. Right. Only, only my mom wouldn't put us in there because. We're, we need self defense. My brother and them, they've been picked on a lot, so she thought they needed self defense in their life. That's why um, I grew up around a lot of brothers and boys. Like my, my family has no girls. Only they might have like four or five girls, and the rest is all boys. Okay. So I mainly grew around boys. Right. But since I got in college, my mom thought it's kind of weird that I'm. My mom thought it's kind of weird that I'm dressing like a tomboy when I'm in high school now. We kind of be like a little girl. But I thought it was kind of weird to me because I'm not a girl. I'm mainly a boy. Right. So now that's why everyone thinks. <laughs> no, she's saying I understand. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why now I'm dressing more like a girl and trying to just be like a girl. It's okay. Now I'm starting to wear like lipstick and wear like eyeshadow. I never wear that stuff when I was like age seven and six. I just mainly wear like jogging suits. Blue jeans and gym shoes. That's mainly all I wear. But now I didn't see my friends and them. They think I should be more girly and hang out with them. Like I never went outside before. Now I'm in high school. My friends and them they starting to ask me to go out to like movies and all that kind of stuff. But now I'm getting used to it. It's starting to be fun to me. But other than that, I never liked it. It was not me.
Um, how do you feel about people defining you based upon your zip code, where you live? what their the norm has been presented to them. 